Ai Bure first caught malaria, then became constipated. Her mother, Mariam, says they only have rice left to eat in their village. And so Ai's weight plummeted. I went to a pharmacy, but the medicine didn't work. So I tried traditional medicine, but was still thin. So I came to the hospital and we're still here. There are always some severely malnourished children in hospital wards like this one in central Mali. Worsening droughts and extreme poverty play their part. But the UN says escalating violence in the region has made it worse. Nearly 50,000 people have fled their villages after a series of attacks by militia connected to the Dogon and Fulani ethnic groups. The landscape's dry at the best of times. Now, many Dogon, who are mostly farmers, are far from their crops, and many Fulani herders' animals have been stolen or killed. Banditry has made road transport too dangerous. For centuries, the River Niger has played a crucial role in transporting food and other goods around this region. These boats bring produce from farming areas and it's traded here at the port in the town of Mopti. These sacks of ground up rice husks will be sold and fed to cattle. And the interdependence between the herders and the farmers has lasted for centuries as well. The herders buy food from the farmers and in the dry season the farmers pay the herders to take their livestock out onto the plains for grazing. But that interdependence is now strained. Hundreds have been killed in the last three months as militia connected to both groups have burned homes and massacred villagers. Many of those who fled to the safety of nearby towns are hungry. Instead of handing out food, the UN's World Food Programme is giving credit on cards for people to buy from local traders. They have the right to choose on their preferences and following the food they have been taking from their village. This is for their dignity of choosing what they want to eat. Secondly, it boosts um, the exchange with the traders and also to boost the economy, local economy here. Like most here, Fatumata Jagate had to leave everything behind when her village was attacked. What we really need is peace. The crisis needs to be handled and brought to an end. Fatumata will be raising her children alone in a camp. She says her husband was killed in front of her. The attacks keep happening every week. The peace she longs for seems a long way off. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Mopti region, Mali.